I had beautiful, long, thick, blonde hair my whole life. Um, I became a hairstylist, and hair was really how I identified myself. I remember playing with my hair. I remember the feeling on my scalp when I would take a ponytail out and the soreness. I remember all of those sensations. When I was two years old, I was diagnosed with alopecia areata. My mom and my aunt would spend hours sewing wigs for me. And that's how I hid, that I was really a bald girl. The big comment that everybody makes is, it's just hair. You're healthy, it's just hair. Losing your hair affects you emotionally and mentally to extreme levels. I have alopecia and I've had that since my 20s. I wore a wig from age 28 to 38. 10 years of hiding what sort of felt like my true self took its toll and I think the, the public persona and the private persona, I didn't like having two different lives. I, I wanted to sort of be one integrated person. And so all of that together compelled me to ditch the wig and shave my head and uh, come out. I was starting to feel the balance tilt. I was less confident with hair than I thought I would be without hair. I thought, you know what I want to change in the world is I just want to be bald and go out to coffee. I just want to go out and people just know me for who I really am. Bay Area Bald Girls formed because Lisa decided that she wanted to have a posse of other people that looked like her out in the world with her. I need something in person and I need a group of women who I can sit around and have coffee with who can really identify with all of these small challenges that add up to sometimes feeling very overwhelming. It is hard to deal with on a daily basis, the questions. That comes up a lot in our groups. What makes them feel like it's okay to, to ask us why we look the way we look? There's something really specific about baldness in women and gender norms. We're making a conscious choice to transgress that gender norm in our daily lives. And there is something about that discomfort that it gives people. There is, of course, I think the like, are you sick or are you not sick? But then also the things around sort of, you're not performing your gender correctly and, and why is that? The truth of the matter is, what makes you feminine, where you feel sexy, comes from within. It's like an up and out thing. <laughs> well, it's like I always tell Lisa, you made it happen. I'm a bald girl with a bunch of bald girls having coffee. That's all I wanted. And I got it. There's so much historical, cultural significance tied to hair. I see choosing to live without a wig as a almost a political act. I think there are millions of women who don't have hair, and they should have the same opportunities as men to live hairless, <laughs> to live bald. Everybody in. Hello. Different is normal and the more variety in humans, the better.